They do such a great job. Life, doing life, has a lot of twists and turns. A lot of pain for some that go through difficult times. But I'm here to make a declaration today. God has answers to everything. God is the cure for everything. The Hebrew names of God revealed in Christ assures us God has answers for life, for what is going on in life. God is the cure for everything. Do you need spiritual, emotional, or physical healing? God is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer. God has provided the cure for spiritual, emotional, physical sickness. Jesus Christ heals. God is the healer, Jehovah Rapha. In Exodus 15, 26, we get that Hebrew name. For I am the Lord that heals you. In Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes we are healed. By his wounds you have been healed. 1 Peter 2, 24. Whether it's emotional, whether it's spiritual, or whether it's physical, God today is Jehovah Rapha. He is our healer. The healing is revealed through Christ. By his stripes, we are healed. Do you need victory in your life? God is Jehovah Nissa, the Lord, our banner, our victory. Because of the cross, his banner over us today is love. God gives us the victory over the flesh, over the world, over the devil. Our battles are his battles. Jehovah Nissa is our banner, and he is the one who fights our battles. In Exodus 15, 17, 15, Moses built an ark and called the name of it Jehovah Nissa. The Lord provides, the Lord is our victory. In 1 Corinthians 15, 57, but thanks be unto God, Paul says, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you need forgiveness and right standing with God? I got good news. God is Jehovah Siskinu, the Lord our righteousness. From the, from the ancestry of David, David's line, Jesus imparts his righteousness to us. And in Jeremiah 23, 5 through 6, and this is his name, whereby he shall be called Jehovah Siskinu, the Lord our righteousness. And in 2 Corinthians 5, 21, for he, God the Father, has made him Christ to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ, in him. Do you have fear of lack or want in your life? I got good news again. God is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. Just as God provided a ram as a substitute for Isaac, God sent his son as the ultimate substitute for us on the cross. God indeed is Jehovah Jireh, I provider. Genesis 22, 13 through 14. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. In Philippians 4:19, my God shall supply all of
of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Listen, I want to tell you, God is not El Chipo. He's El Shaddai. He's Jehovah Jireh. And he will provide for you and your family. Do you have a need for peace? God is Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. N-O, no peace. K-N-O, God, you know peace. God defeats our enemies and brings peace. God brings inner peace and harmony. In Isaiah 9, 6, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, and the very God of peace will sanctify you holy spirit, soul, and body. John 14, 27, Jesus said, My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. There is no peace in this world. God is Jehovah Shalom. He is our peace. Do you, do you experience loneliness? Do you need God's presence in your life? God is Jehovah Shemoth. The Lord is there. The Lord becomes my friend. He becomes my companion. And he becomes my savior. In Exodus 33, 14, he said, My presence will go with you. In Matthew 28, 20, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. In Hebrews 13, 5, Jesus says, I will never leave you, and I will never forsake you. He is Emmanuel, God with us. Do you need divine guidance? We need that, though. No. We need somewhere and something to show us where to go and how to do. Divine guidance is what God provides, and Jehovah is Jehovah Rapha, or Jehovah Rohi, the Lord, our shepherd. He protects, he directs, he leads, he cares, he is strong, and he is a patient shepherd. How many are very glad that our shepherd is a patient shepherd who Amen. guides us? Even we step the wrong direction, he brings us back around. He is Jehovah Rapha or Jehovah Rohi. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. Aren't you glad we have a leader? And I'm not talking about the president. I'm talking about the great shepherd, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God is Jehovah Raha. And we realize that through Christ, our shepherd. Now, for today, I'm giving you some verses that verses the virus. We need that right now, don't we? And if you need protection, God is your protection. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91.1 Do you need confidence? Psalms 91.2 God is your confidence. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. He is my God in whom I will trust. Do you need deliverance? God is your deliverance. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers. Under His wings you will find refuge. Psalms 91, 3 and 4. Do you need courage during this time what we're going through? God is your courage. You will find you will not fear the terror of the night or the errors that fly by day or the pestilence that stalk in the darkness or the plague that destroys at midnight. Psalms 91, 5 and 6. Do you need assurance? I do. God is our assurance today. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your dwelling or your tent. Psalms 91, 9 and 10. 
Do you need a good night's sleep? Anybody here? I got one last night. I was up yesterday at 4.15. This morning I got up later and I, the Lord gave me a wonderful night's sleep and I am so glad. Do you need a good night's sleep? God is our good sleep. I will lie down and sleep in peace for the Lord alone makes me dwell in safety. Psalms 4.8. Do you need to feel love today? God's, God is our love, and He is the one that loves us so much. I trust in your unfailing love, and my heart rejoices in your salvation. Psalms 13, 5. Somebody like that. Do you need strength for everyday living? God is your strength for everyday living. The joy of the Lord is my strength, Nehemiah 8.10. The same power and spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us. Listen, God has all the answers. God is the cure for everything you may ever need in your life. And your future is your friend. Come on, your future is your friend. Don't fear, walk in faith. Trust God, trust God's word, even when challenges loom, for his promises are as secure as his power. And everybody said, amen. We have a song, then we'll have a closing prayer. Praise the Lord. I tell you what, I just love it when, uh, you know, Pastor and I don't, we don't compare notes, uh, but, but when the songs that, that, that come together during our service and his, his, his message comes together, that's exciting for me because we know that God's in it. I'm looking back in our archives and, and we're going to sing this song, Save My Sorrows, and I'm just thinking we're just going to pull an old song and do this morning, but you know what, it ties right into his message and I'm just so thankful. Only God can do that. Amen. Amen.
training my fear for protection. I'm training my fear for his confidence that he gives, for his deliverance. I'm training my fear for his assurance. And I'm training my fear for a good night's sleep. And I'm training my fear for his strength that comes from his joy. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. May the Lord lift you up in his countenance and may he give you peace. God bless you all for coming to the drive-in church. God is so good. He is so great. Rejoice in him today. God love you and God bless you.